Hey y'all, let's check out Soul Stone. Hey y'all, welcome to April Diamonds Day 6. So today we're at Soul Stone. This is an adult themed fitness inspired sim that is also TP friendly. So you're gonna have to leave the kitties behind. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and do an outfit check. So y'all, this was a quick outfit that I put together. I felt like it was cute for the land. We got some gold accessories going on. You know, nothing, nothing too, nothing too crazy today. You know, got my bag. Do a little shoe check. Did I go matchy matchy? Yes, I went matchy matchy. Okay, you know, sometimes I do that. I wanted something that was gonna just have a little pop to it, and I felt like this was quite fitting for the space. So let's go ahead and continue. So this land definitely has a romantic feel. So I'm gonna say once again, you can come by yourself, but it seems to be more fitting for couples. Everything is kind of coupled up. Um, as far as like the seating goes and the spacing and things like that so keep that in mind they have lots of little gondolas that you can um, pose in ample ample sitting space which I really really appreciate I love um, sitting spaces I just feel like it makes you just feel a little bit more welcome in the space knowing that you can kind of hang out and chill for a little bit so I really like how it has a very dreamy feel to it all of the animations seem to be fitted for couples now i am in um the shared environment because i really liked it and it has some spaces where the sun hits and it's just very very pretty so i wanted to keep it in the shared environment just about everything can be clicked on and it has animations in it and it's just super pretty it does have an enchanted flair to it, which, you know, a lot of lands in Second Life, they kind of, out, they like to add the enchanted flair to it. I'm not mad at that, though. I'm not mad at that. I feel like it gives it just another level of um, mystique. This is really cute. I like that it's just, everything is just so coupley and so pretty. This would be very nice for, like, maternity photo shoot or if you just wanted to take like a really cute picture um i think the the options for the pictures here are definitely going to be endless i love the artistry of this place it has a some parts of it feel joyful and then other parts of it just feel very somber it definitely has a dream like essence to it almost like when you have one of those dreams where it's like most of the things seem regular but then you'll have something like this that is just kind of like and eh, no this is a dream i love the details and the pop of color and the art and how the art is a representation of the spaces it seems like so like this piece of art has violins on it and things like that and then when you're in the space they're violins so it gives a very musical almost like opera orchestra type vibe these gondolas are all over everywhere we'll check one of those out a little bit later there's so many little intricate details that have been added to this space where it's like if you're not paying attention you definitely can miss it I love how this space, it has the feel that there might not be much to it, but as I'm walking around, it's definitely a lot to it. And I really do like that. It has such an airy feel to it. A little sleepy kitty cat. I love the pottery and the just, it's, it, it, like, it gives a feeling of like a space that is not really, really occupied by the masses, almost like a small countryside type space. A beautiful bakery. I love little things like this. I 
is so pretty. All of the little baked goods. The sweet, sweet cinnamon rolls with the icing. Everything looks so real. Super yummy lemon cake that the, it's still in the works of being made. I love it. I love it. Such a cute little quaint space. This space in has um, more seating options over here, which is really nice. I do love the lighting here. I didn't think that it would pick up um, very well in the video, but as I'm filming it, I definitely like it. Everything doesn't always have to be all bright. They have spaces of it, which really makes up for the darker spots on this land. It gives a sunset type vibe. All of the yummy fresh fruit and the veggies. Everything looks so good, so healthy, so fresh. Now, I do know that back in the day, um, when you have an adult Sam, children avatars were not allowed on the adult Sams because when it's an adult Sam, they can put, you know, adult things here. And so it's not appropriate um, for children. I rarely run across, um, this looks like a bathhouse. I rarely run, run across um, Sams that are adult. So this was quite refreshing. This is a beautiful house. You know I love pre-decorated rooms. Oh, this is a nice treat. It's like a personal, almost like a, like a personal chef. Nice seafood boil, cause who, who, don't, who don't like that, you know? Well, there, there are some people that do, but I love it. Beautiful cheese and wine. I love the colors. This beautiful breakfast layout. Yes, yes, and yes. Look at how pretty that is. The little parfaits. Everything looks so yummy. I love it. And you see how the light hits everything so beautifully. So it's like, I'm not lit, but there are certain parts that the light hits and it just makes it seem that much more realistic. Look at how beautiful it is out here. Could you imagine just having breakfast out here, listening to the water and the birds and just the waves crashing against the rocks and you just get to chill out here? go from room to room and just enjoy everything that they have. This looks like a art photography space. A little bit of tapestry. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm very, very proud of myself just being able to eyeball these spaces. I literally, I think I saw this on a, I know I saw this on a SL uh, destinations page on Facebook and I really wanted to check it out a lot of times they'll have places in search but then sometimes in Second Life they just don't so I want to see the poses in one of these gondolas so there's lots of poses so let's see what poses we can do. So lots of cute poses in here. I love when the objects have poses where you really don't need your own poses. You can just kind of use the ones that they have. Cause this is super cute, super duper cute. I love all the touches here with the shops and the buildings and just the added decorations of like the robes and the bakeries. I love the color of the buildings. What's this? 
Can I get in here? Okay. This is so romantic, like a little wedding dress space. Like if you bought a wedding dress and you come to pick it up. I feel like this land would be a perfect place to propose or to do it. Will you be my girlfriend? Will you be my boyfriend type thing? Very romantic. The way that the creators manage to just encapsulate a feeling just in the way that they position things is so amazing. It's a true talent. I really admire the imagination that was put into creating a space like this. It's a beautiful reimagining of Venice. Absolutely beautiful. I really enjoyed all the sights and sounds at Soulstone, and there's still so much to see and do here, so make sure you guys check them out. The landmark will be in the description box below, so I hope you guys enjoyed everything. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, I'll see you guys next time.